he's married to Larel, uh, has a uh, uh, hip, hip training, and soon we'll have two additions in a few months' time. Exciting years. Uh, yes, uh, animals, Rocky and Miles. Uh, what type of animals are they? Two dogs. Two dogs, great. Happy ones. Happy yeah. <laughs> ones, good. Um, and the hobbies are, his passion is music. Um, David likes to combine his interest uh, in technology and using. Um, he loves learning, relaxing weekend getaways, and a bit of painting and being in the outdoors. His burning desire is to be the best role model uh, he can be for his uh, kids. And uh, uh, if he wasn't doing what he's doing, uh, this is something to touch people in life. Something you don't know about uh, David is, I have to read it. Uh, he laughs out loud when he watches romantic movies. Yes, <laughs> Okay, David, thanks a lot. Thank you, dear. Yours? Excellent. Um, so, Chris mentioned that uh, one of my passions is music, so I just wanted to start.
and we all have resources. A lot of those same resources that we had up on the last one. So how are you using your inner resources? <laughs> Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford coined that quote decades and decades ago. But studies in neuroscience and behavioural studies since or today have proven how correct those words are. <coughs> Basically, success mindset, what we think is really a key factor in our success. Um, and our, our success is really determined by the mindset that we bring to our experiences, what we're thinking about it, how we're going through life. Every human act begins with a thought. We have a feeling about what we're thinking. That feeling produces or influences the behaviours that we have, and those behaviours ultimately determine whether we're going to succeed or fail. Failure is obviously not that's such a bad thing either. It doesn't dictate that the next time is going to be a failure either. So we look into the brain a little bit closer. We can look at it like the iceberg. The tip above water is our conscious mind. That's everything that we're actually aware of that we're thinking. But under the water, there's a hell of a lot more going on that we're not always aware of. In particular, emotions and behavior. So if we're not aware that the mind works like this, our emotions and our behaviors are just happening reactively or going through passively through life. But they work as a whole. Our conscious mind can actually work in partnership with our unconscious. We can do things consciously that will help us get the best out of our emotions and our behaviour and ultimately influence the successes that we're going to have. When we're not aware of this, we're acting, we're reacting passively to life. Rather than being conscious choice makers. And so our mission at Happy On Learning is really to help people to become conscious choice makers. In other words, that's to help people unlock the power of their hearts and minds so that they can realise their full potential and live their best lives. It sounds really good, but how do we do it? First, I guess we start with these three key areas. This is at a very high level, but we look at where are you headed to, what are the results that you want, what do you want to have, what does success look like for you. So take that picture and then come back to the start. Who do you see yourself as today? And ultimately, who do you need to be to get that success, the results that you're after? Once we've sorted out who you're doing, then we can think about the actions, what you need to put into place to actually create those results. And then we look around. Once you get into the results, we can keep feeding it and keep continuing. So what sort of things do we cover? A whole host and range. People have different life challenges in all sorts of areas, as we saw in those first few slides during the song. These are just some of the topics that might trigger in your conversations with people anywhere. Who could be a super mentor or something. Whether it's relationships, parenting, career, just everyday issues, fear, anger, um, any sort of problem that someone's having in life and they need a help they can't sort it out on their own. You need a different perspective to be able to step out of that and say, what is my unconscious doing? What am I not aware of? So, who are we? <coughs> I've deliberately not put any other words on the slide. We can often let our resumes, our qualifications and our roles dictate who we are, and that can also limit us. So it's something to be aware of. Who we are or who we have been in the past doesn't necessarily <coughs> mean who you're going to be tomorrow. But if you want to know about my history, um, my previous roles, um, I've had 10 years of history here in business management, engineering and IT. Um, started a, a family business from nothing and grew it to 
almost 100 staff and turning over $50 million in 10 years. Um, so lots of trials and tribulations on that road. But after about 10 years, I realised that I didn't have the same passion in that business that I did when I started it. There was something more out there. Funnily enough, my son Jamie also came along around the same time. And I saw life with uh, there's a different perspective, with different lens. So I made the decision really that I wanted to touch people's hearts and minds. How was I going to do that? Happy on the was the answer to that question. So if you're talking to someone and giving them a referral, what do you need to know? It's as simple as my number. Our website has a lot more information about what we do. We also issue the first session as a complimentary session. I wanted to finish up today with one more quote from one of those inspiring people at the start. Um, we often recognise them for the successes that they've had and the differences they've made and all the wins they've had. We don't always recognise all the hard work, the blood, sweat and tears that's gone into creating that success. Even uh, you know, an overnight success like Twitter has been around for 10 years before it became that overnight success. So I just wanted to leave you with this quote from MJ. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take a game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I'm succeeding. So remember that one next time you think it's getting a bit tough. <laughs>